Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In my last video, I discussed the differences between the high pass and low pass effect, what each of them are, and how each works. In this video, we're going into one application of the low pass effect, and that is to reduce wrinkles. So let's get right into it. For this demo, we're going to be using this test image. First, for usability purposes, let's rename the layer to original and make a copy. Next, let's add the low pass effect. With the original layer selected, click insert a layer button, click effects. In the right effects panel, click the add effect button. I'll type low in the text box and that brings up the low pass effect. Click on that. To view the low pass effect, hide the top layer. Notice that increasing the radius slider increases the clarity and visibility of the details. Choose a radius where the wrinkles can be seen in the details. Next, let's blend the image. Unhide the top layer. With the top layer selected, choose the Multiply Blend Mode. The Multiply Blend Mode will darken the image, but in this case, the result is too dark. To remedy that, I'll apply an exposure adjustment. With the top layer selected, click Insert a Layer button. Click Color Adjustments. I'll rename the Color Adjustment layer to Exposure. Now increase the exposure. As you can see, we now have a better exposed image. You might have noticed that the wrinkles have been smoothed nicely with less contrast. But the operation has affected other parts of the image. To fix this, we need to apply some local adjustments. To do this, let's duplicate the original layer once again. Move the duplicate to the top of the layer stack. Right-click on the top layer and click Add Mask. For usability, I'll rename the layer to Blend Low Pass. Because the mask is white, what I see is the original image. I prefer to do the local adjustments from the lower layer where the wrinkles have already been smoothed. To do that, I need to turn the mask to black. So I'll use the Color Fill tool to paint the mask black. Alternatively, you can just invert the mask. Now, with the white paint brush, let's brush over the important details of the image, not including, of course, the wrinkles, which we want to get rid of. So here is the before and the after. Before and the after. A big improvement, don't you think? and very natural looking as well. That's super important when doing portrait retouching like this one. So that's one of the uses of low pass filters or low pass effects. Let me know if you have any questions, write it down in the comments. And if you have other ways of removing wrinkles, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.